Well, there is a prime piece of land near the White River that could soon be welcoming more neighbors, but a neighborhood just outside of Broad Ripple is against this proposal. 13 Investigates reporter Gina Glaros has a closer look at some of those concerns. Lindsay Scott says nature right outside her door is what drew her to Marah Island. The environment is a very, very big concern for us. It's one of the reasons she does not support more than 200 apartments and 16 townhomes going next door in the former location of Willow's Event Center. Put in this development. She and Peter Lander of the Marah Island Community Association are among 600 people who want to put a stop to this project. They worry about trash flowing into the nearby pond and traffic on Westfield Boulevard. Anybody living on the island, I think, would tell you the same thing. When crossing this road, you sort of take it by foot with your dog or whatever. Kids, you're taking your life into your own hands crossing it. But the main issue, too many people for this space. This current project is at least two times larger in density than what is called for in the comprehensive plan. The plan lays out the goal for land use by the city of Indianapolis. Every time you kind of knock down and, and don't align with the plan, it sets a really bad precedent for the future. No one ever checks all the boxes. Developer John Hart says because the construction is close to the Monon Trail, the plan allows for more residents than normal. In talking to neighbors, he lowered the number of stories from four to three. He says two studies show traffic is not an issue. They vote on the plan for this space on Wednesday. Right now on WTHR.com, developer John Hart is addressing neighbors' other concerns.